why revolution now? Is it just a little parody on democracy now? Well, first, I've been very frustrated that even though you have a litany of political and social shows dealing with news, dealing with analysis about what's happening with current events and so on, along with some theoretically minded shows that are debating the ins and outs of this or that, the capitalist versus communist duality and other things of such, which I don't really care for. There hasn't been a show that first really embraces the urgency of what we face as a species right now, given the confluence of negative trajectories from the ravages of socioeconomic inequality, something I've written about at great length in my book, The New Human Rights Movement, to the relentless and ongoing destruction of the environment through pollution, resource overshoot, loss of biodiversity. Every life support system on Earth is in decline. Under the umbrella of those two issues, socioeconomic inequality and ecological decline, is really where my analysis and my interest lies, because those two top-tier categories embrace a cascade of other systemic problems. And that's kind of the limitation of thinking out there and why this program also, aside from promoting this urgency, promotes a particular worldview and how to analyze these problems and how to solve them. And I'm sorry to say, and this is what has kept me a pariah out there because I am completely unapologetic at this point, the traditionally minded activist avenues, whether protests in the street, whether creating petitions, whether some kind of general lobbying, lobbying, of course, the term lobbying really just means public appeal to government. Obviously, it's redefined today because lobbying is the arm of business to basically own government, but you get my point. So all of this stuff that people routinely do in this political dance, it's not going to work for the problems that have emerged at this time. There will be marginal progress. I'm not saying that those out there engaging in traditional activism are not contributing to positive change. But the kinds of problems that are at hand today, particularly under the category of ecological decline and socioeconomic inequality, are not going to be solved by common policy shifts and the fundamental democratic process as we know it. Why? Because the forces of other system processes are interfering with the idea of democracy and limiting its capability 